With their one-year-long hiatus and long-awaited comeback, it's no wonder that Blackpink is currently the talk of the town with their pre-release music video. Like and whenever Blackpink is mentioned, something on everyone's mind is the notorious YG princess Jenny Kim. So who is Jenny? Why is she the YG princess? And why is she so loved and hated in the K-pop community? Persona and background. Jenny's whole persona as an idol is being this empowering badass who doesn't give a f And because of this, she can often be seen as cold, aloof, or in other words, a princess. And this idea also fuels off the fact that Jenny is the only child from a very wealthy family. Jenny Kim was born on January 16, 1996 in Seoul, South Korea. Her father is a hospital owner and her mother is a CJNM director and major shareholder. During her primary years, Jenny studied abroad in Auckland, New Zealand, where she attended ACG Purnell College. The tuition here is between $25,000 to $35,000 a year. Because of her family background and idol persona, some people can perceive the wrong image from Jenny and call her a spoiled princess. And this princess image gets worse when we talk about the next point, which is YG favoritism. Even before Blackpink debuted, netizens have pointed out that Jenny has been getting lots of exposure from the industry. Back in 2012, when Jenny was still a trainee, she was given the opportunity to make her first public appearance as the lead actress in G Dragon's music video, That XX. And in 2013, she worked with GD again, where she sang the hook for his sidetrack, Black. This is where she also made her first stage appearance alongside GD on SBS Inkiago. But even after Blackpink debuted, these favoritism claims continued. And in 2018, just as the favoritism controversy was at its peak, YG thought it'd be a great idea to announce Jenny's official solo debut. Oh my, Bitch, solo. Oh my god, YG, what are you doing? <laughs> Netizens were now more convinced that YG favored Jenny over the other members of Blackpink. And to this day, the other members' solo debut is nowhere in sight. Fan frustrations. Blackpink debuted on August 8, 2016, and the group immediately blew up. Things were amazing in the first year. They released two single albums, Square One and Square Two, and both of their titled tracks, Boombaya. and Playing With Fire, <laughs> hit number one on the Billboard World Digital Song Sales chart. That same year, they broke multiple records and won multiple music awards. However, in 2017, just as Blackpink was beginning to reach new heights, YG basically ghosted the fandom and Blackpink promotions became non-existent. Fuck. Fans were frustrated, they were hungry for more content, and this is where Jenny's controversy continues to get worse. Lazy Scandal In 2017, during a few live performances, Jenny can be seen dancing sluggishly. During one live performance, Jenny even forgot the lyrics to the song. <laughs> Given the fans' frustrations and insanely high industry standards, netizens portrayed Jenny as lazy and also spoiled for supposedly taking advantage of her popularity. Dating scandal. And then finally, on January 1st, 2019, Dispatch reported that Jenny and Kai from EXO were dating. In an industry which thrives on idols appearing available, dating scandals can really affect an idol's career. And well, for Jenny, it basically meant more hate. A month after the news, the couple allegedly broken up, but it was too late. Her reputation couldn't get any worse, 
and her infamous title, YG Princess, engraved into her name. Oh yeah, later that year, YG ghosted us again after Kill Us Love promotions. Fans were more frustrated, and it took another year until they finally made a comeback. Like so to summarize all these reasons why people call her the YG Princess, Jenny's badass persona and wealthy background, YG's favoritism, specifically her solo debut, fans' frustration due to the lack of Blackpink promotions, the lazy scandal, Jenny and Kai's dating scandal, and all of these frustrations get directed at Jenny and her infamous title, YG Princess. It is important to note that the other members of Blackpink seem to only have nice things to say about Jenny, and I think Blackpink's genuine interactions with one another should speak louder than what netizens and news articles have to say about Jenny. And that concludes it for this video. If you watched until the end, thank you so much and consider subscribing to see my future content. Stay home, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.